okay so what's up guys welcome back to COVID Clinton. so in this video i'm going to show you how to use the generic views in the django rest framework in the stand so these kind of views they make there is a kind of an advanced form of the class-based view i showed you in the last video in the stand so they make things easier they make you write lesser codes in the stand to achieve more stuff in the stand so i'm going to show you how to implement generic views in this project in the stand so currently i'm currently i'm on the django rest framework website in the stand so this is this, this is the official website you get so just go down to www.djangorestframework.org you'll be brought down to this page you get so come just click on this api guide so click on generic views so currently now we're on the page for the generic for the for generic views in the stand so and generic views are made up of one or more mixings in the stand so this is what we call mixing this, this, this is a list model mixing it helps to like list out the item we have in the database in the stand we have the create model mixing we have the retrieve the create is to make the create model mixing is helps to like make a post request in the stand the retrieve model helps to get a single item the update is to like update helps to like update a particular item and the destroy model mixing helps to delete a given item you get so what makes up what makes up a generic views is one or more mixings in the stance so i'm going to show you how it works you get so if we check closely now we have the create api view this create api view inherits from the create model mixing the list api view inherits from the list model mixing we have the we have the retrieve the retrieve helps to get a single item and it's actually inherits from the retrieve model mixing understand they are actually made up from the mixings you get so right now i'm going to go down to our project here understand so what i want to do now is i want to convert this to a generic view understand i'll share I'll do that right now so we're doing that right away you get so just on top here we need to import we need to import the list create api view i'm going to show you where it is just here we want to get this particular view the list creates view you can see it's here, the list creates api view but if we check our code right now this gets method helps to list out our items why the post method helps to create new items so we need the list creates api view this time because what this does is that it helps to like list out items and create new items so now we need to import that so just come on top here it's not difficult simply say from rest framework from rest framework dot generics i'm going to import a list creates api i need to be sure i'm getting the spelling api view okay okay so now we just get copy this now and we'll paste it inside of this parenthesis in the stand so paste it there so now simply comment this out for now so i'll show you how this list create api view works it's quite simple in stand so i'm um, gonna i need to like run my okay my virtual environment is actually my project is running so let me just run server to make sure everything is fine so now this list create api view it makes it makes us to write lesser codes you understand less le less codes you get so right now what, what you need to do now is just now into you, you need to create a variable called query set query set should be equal to so our query set is going to be equal to oh since there's an error okay that, that was not an error so our, our query set is going to be equal to products.object.all in the stand so copy this query set ctrl c we'll paste it here in the stand so after we've done that now we need to also create a new variable called serializer class so we're going to call it serializer underscore class it's going to be equal to our product serializer so just copy this and paste here okay so that's it now I think that's all we need to do so i need to run server again i don't know why my 
call this kind of misbehaving run server let's see let's hope everything is fine we have an error instead so it says cannot import name list create api view from rest framework the generics might have spelled something wrongly so let's check the code again it says oh it's called list so i think the api view the api is all in capital letter so i made a mistake there so api view you understand so come down here oh let's see what the problem is so i think it's api sorry for the mis sorry for the delay so i think everything should be fine now let's run server so it's taking quite some time okay i think the code is perfect now so just this now you can see we are using the list create api view from the generics from from generics you get so now you can see this code you wrote here is going to undo everything we've been writing here you understand that's one thing about the generic view it makes our life easier it makes us to write lesser code to achieve more to achieve more process or you understand so just this just this two lines of code now is covering this whole thing i commented out you understand so that's it now go down to the browser to come down here you understand so i'm going to go down to products products okay enter let's see okay now currently we are on the products page so i'm going to go down i need to go down to the bottom of the page you can see one thing about using the generic views you can see right now the generic you can see this view now is giving us a form that we can fill out you understand i've given us a form we can fill out you can stand so it's giving us the name the description you know before i had to copy out this data and paste here you understand see so if i could so this is this is the html form if i check out the raw data you can see now it has given us the format we need to just use you get so before i used to copy out the stuff here and paste here and then start putting in the data but generic views has covered all that for us now we don't need to copy it has given us the format we need to use if you want to use this raw data it's fine if you want to use the actual form it's also fine that's one of the advantages of using the generic views in the stand. so i'm going to show you something else again so just come over here let's assume you want to we have this we have previously and civilizer class right let's assume you want to write some extra logic in your code you don't you don't just want to like you don't just want to list up the old product you want to write some extra logic you need to like i'm going to show you what to do right now you simply just say def we are going to create a function called def get underscore query sets understand so query sets you get so this query set now you can simply return out you can simply write out the logic so this query set we have here so i'm coming this function we have here is going to simply replace it's going to replace what we have here you understand so let's assume you have a logic you want to pass in before you, before you return out the product you understand so you're going to do it this way you're going to create this function called you're going to create this function called get query set put in the self and then writing your logic here in the stand and then putting the item in the stand sorry not yeah you then you then put in the query set in the stand so you, you can just pass in the query set here you can put in your logic and simply say if oh, sorry for what i'm writing there you can simply say if user is something or if something occurs in the stand so if you want to write some logic you can simply use this function to replace this query set. Hope you understood what I'm saying now. You get so that's it. That's it there. But since we are not writing any logic, we don't need this function. You understand? We are fine with this. With what we have here, you get so we're fine with what we have here. Everything is perfect. You understand? So just these two lines of code is doing what these lines of code was doing before these two lines of code is covering everything this 
stuff is doing that's awesome you get so that's it for this particular view the the api product so for the api products for the detail page you understand we're actually getting and we are also updating and deleting you understand so we are going to use the we are going to use this view we are going to use this we are going to use the retrieve update destroy api view you understand we are going to use the retrieve update and destroy api view you get because the retrieve helps to get a single item the update helps to update a particular product you understand a particular item why you destroy apps to delete a particular product you get so we're going to simply use the retrieve updates so just come up here and simply say retrieve updates destroy api view so now just copy this then, I'll get, then i need to remove this one from here i think it's only that again so we just pass it here, paste here. Sorry for that. We we'll paste it there. I think it's fine. So after we've done that, now we need to create these two variables. You understand? So I'll simply comment that out. So I'm going to create the query set. Our query set is going to be equal to. Our query set is going to be equal to what was it called again? Gets so it's going to be equal to product.object.all. So I'm going to pass that here. Understand? Don't worry if, if you check closely, we are trying to retrieve a particular data, a particular product. You understand? But you can see here, we are, you can see what we did here. We are saying product.object.all, right? But since we're using the retrieve, since we're using this retrieve more this since we're, since we're using the retrieve generic view it's going to get the particular id we pass in the url you understand you're going to get the products of that particular id we pass instead forget about the fact we are we don't need a query set here but since we are inheriting from the generic view it's going to solve the problem for us so we're going to simply put in the serializer class serializer underscore class that's going to be equal to products serializer and mind you there is no need for parentheses it's just product serializer you can see the same thing i did up there you understand so let's see our server is running so come down to your code up here or simply copy one of these now ctrl c and paste here and let's run the code because everything is fine you can see it's perfect you can see you can update you can you can update it. everything has been made easy for us this time we have the raw data we have the html form you get so generic views is the generic the generic views is really really helpful it's really 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 helpful you can check it out in the stand so i really love it this time. we have to just write less code less code you can see we're writing less code here so i'm gonna do the same thing again for this api for the categories in the stand so it's not difficult so right now we simply inherit from the list create api view because we check closely we are trying to list and we're also trying to create so we'll do the same thing list create you guys should do this one by yourself I don't, okay I'm, I'm, i'll just do this first view for you so i'll leave the other one for you guys to do this other view in the stand so so we're saying list create api view so after you've done that now we need to create our query set and serializer so say query set should be equal to category.objects.all understand so paste there and after we've done that now we're going to say serializer class underscore class should be equal to category serializer understand without the parentheses you get so paste there so after you've done that and i think that's fine so i'm going to leave out this one for you to do is that so try it out yourself just try it out so i give you just try pause the video 
and try it out right and try it out instead of waiting for you so right now here's my solution in a stand so currently we are using the retrieve or bit destroy apig because if we check closely we are trying to like get a particular we are trying to get a particular category instead we are trying to update a particular category and we are also trying to delete a given category instead so we are going to use this particular we are going to use this we are going to use this particular generic api view you understand so which is the retrieve update and destroy right you understand so that's what we did there so everything is fine so that was it that was it for this video so you can check it out so we've checked out for products product is fine let's check out for category so let me say category i think oh well, that's the wrong view let's see what is called in the urs of pi fi category so i call it categories let's see api i don't know why it's not showing okay it's here you can see we have the form at the bottom everything is perfect to get so what else do we need to do i think it's fine there we can also put in the id ctrl c and enter because everything is just perfect to get so that's it for this video so in this video i'll show you how to customize a generic review i really hope you enjoyed this I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video the source code is down below so you can follow along effectively so do us to subscribe to this channel subscribe like and share this video we are going to meet in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye